Kansans are certainly feeling the impacts of inflation. As Alexis Padilla shows us now, this has more and more families reaching out to nonprofits to get some help. Craig, this is impacting everyone daily. I talked with one woman who moved here from Colorado last year, and while the cost of living is cheaper here in Kansas, she says because of recent inflation, her expenses are about the same as they were over there. We're spending more on groceries and gas than we were in Colorado, and everyone knows Colorado is a lot more expensive to live in. As inflation rises, Devin Reese and her family, like many others, are making adjustments. You're not going to the zoos, you're not going to the water parks as often. You've got to stop doing the fun things. Many looking for help where they can, even if it's just a free lunch. Really helping out with the grandchildren. Mm -hmm. We've done this for several years, but this year has made a big difference. With inflation at a 40 year high, nonprofits are seeing an increase in calls, many from new faces. Not only affecting who you would normally expect it to affect. It's also affecting very educated families and families that would be considered to normally have a good income. United Way of Reno County partners with dozens of organizations to help. Sometimes that's not always a financial resource. That's sometimes connection to other resources that will make you more stable in the long run. Some in need of basic needs like food or gas, others with renter utilities. Normally we help with about 4,500 a month and in the month of May it was $10,400 that we spent to help people. It's just been climbing. It's, I don't see it coming down anytime soon. If you are in need of support, you can call 211 to get connected with resources. And if you're in a comfortable spot, organizations encourage you to donate. Here for you in Hutchinson, Alexis Padilla, KSN News 3.